Hey everybody, it's Robin and welcome to the Robin's Nest. Today on my channel, I'm going to be making a cake for my beautiful mother's birthday. Now some of you may remember the one that I made last year. It was an adorable little beehive with a bunch of little fondant bees. They were so sweet. But this year I'm going to be attempting to make her all-time favorite painting, Van Gogh's Starry Night on a Cake. Now maybe I'm crazy because this could turn out to be a complete disaster, but I'm hoping it's going to be okay. But it's too soon to say. So I hope you guys will stick around to the end to see because I got my painter pants on and I'm ready to have some fun with some buttercream. So let's get into it. So for my mom, when it comes to cake, all the flavors are yummy. There are none off limits. So I chose to go with a delicious lemon sponge paired with a lemon curd filling and some vanilla icing. Now I chose this flavor because I felt like it really matched the theme of the cake. And with all the blue and the yellow icing on the outside of the cake, to cut it open and see a bright yellow slice would just be so pretty. So as you guys can see, I've already pre-leveled, pre-torted, and trimmed off the edges of all of my cake layers to make four five inch cake layers, which if you ask me, is the perfect quarantine size cake because then you won't feel too guilty, too guilty if you eat the whole thing. <laughs> so we're just gonna start by taking our first layer and we're gonna attach that to our cake board with a small dab of icing for glue. I'm just gonna take that first layer, get that into place, give it a good push down. And now we're gonna proceed to fill our layers. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is add a small, amount of icing onto your cake layer and you're going to spread this out and create kind of a barrier so your filling isn't going to soak into the cake. Now once you've finished filling that out and smoothing it, you're going to take your piping bag again and we're going to pipe a dam all the way around the outside of the cake layer and this is going to help keep all that delicious lemon curd in the center of the cake. <laughs> and you want to make sure your dam is actually a good size because you really don't want that leaking out on you. Next we're going to take another piping bag which has my lemon curd in it and we're just going to pipe a small amount into the center being very careful not to overfill it. And then we're going to take our offset spatula and we're just going to smooth that out and then lay our next layer of cake in place. Now we're going to repeat these steps for the next remaining layers until our cake is fully stacked. So once you finish stacking your layers, it's time for your crumb coat. But because we've added a filling and I don't want my cake layers sliding all over the place while I'm trying to ice the darn thing, I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for about 20 minutes and that's gonna solidify all this icing and really lock that filling into place. So we're gonna get this in the fridge and when we come back, we're gonna start our crumb coat. All right, our icing layers have firmed up nicely. So now it's time to do our crumb coat. So I'm just gonna take an icing bag with some more of this white vanilla American buttercream in it and we're just gonna apply a nice thin layer all over the entire cake. And then using an offset spatula and a bed scraper, we're gonna smooth it out. And then we're gonna pop it back in the fridge for one final chill before we mix up some colors. So as you guys can see, I have my very own print of this painting as well. And this is going to come in really handy with deciding what colors we need to make. So we already have some white, which I see here, and we need a little bit of a light and a dark yellow as well. And there's also a variance of blue. There's a really light blue, slightly darker, a royal blue, and then there's even some dark blue down here. So we're going to need about four shades of blue. I see a little bit of black, a little bit of gray, and a nice dark, dark green. 
And I also see a little bit of gray flicked all throughout the whole picture, so we're going to need a little bit of that too. So I'm going to get all those colors mixed up, get them into some piping bags, and then I'll give you guys a little quick run through of the techniques and the tools that I'm going to use to make the cake. So I finished mixing up all my colors and it's time for the fun part, we get to start decorating. But before I do, I just want to give you guys a quick little walkthrough of what my process is going to be. So the first thing we need to do is mark off our pattern. Now it isn't going to be an exact replica, it's going to be my interpretation obviously, but I am going to use the original as inspiration. So once I get that pattern marked off, the next thing we're going to do is start piping on our colors where we want them to be. Then before they've had a chance to set, because I'm working in small sections like I said, we're going to come in with a variety of tools such as these fondant tools, an offset spatula, and I didn't have any palette knives so I just made a couple of little tools with some flexible plastic and some similar shapes to what I'm going to need. So we're going to use those hopefully to give it sort of an oil painting kind of a texture, I hope. So hopefully it works out. So I'm gonna to get to marking this off and then we can get started with the painting. <laughs> Well guys, here it is and I'm so excited because I think it turned out super great. It did take a lot longer than I had anticipated. The technique was quite a challenge, but I think the outcome speaks for itself and it was worth every second. My mom is going to be so surprised and she's going to absolutely love this. And I really hope you guys all love it too. If you did, you know what to do. Leave me a big thumbs up and leave me lots of love in the comment section too. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.